You know, for months now, people have been struggling with the rising price of electricity bills. And now people are struggling to even get their bills in general. 2822 Eyewitness News reporter Emily Allegrucci joins us live with an update tonight. Emily. Hey, Nick and Candace. Yes, some people haven't received a bill from PPNL in over 90 days. And when they do, many are still seeing these very high prices. I spoke with a local nonprofit on how these prices are affecting them and what it means for the community. As the cost of electricity bills continue to rise throughout the country, PPNL electricity users have recently faced a new issue not getting their bills. It is a big problem for a lot of businesses, a lot of families. Um, it, it definitely affects everyone on, on different levels. According to PPNL's website, some users have not received a bill in over 90 days. In a statement released on the site, the manager of community relations says they are working on a solution and billing should return to normal for many by the end of the month. Those who have been receiving their bills, for example, the Wilkes-Barre Family YMCA, those bills are sky high. We've seen a similar increase, uh, uh, especially on the electricity. We've seen over 25%. For a nonprofit like the Y, a 25% increase can impact just about everything. The soaring monthly cost of electricity at the Wilkes-Barre Family YMCA is affecting more than just those who are writing the check to cover the bill. We have to keep the electricity on, so the first part that that affects is our ability to provide financial aids. YMCA leaders are in the process of trying to lock in pricing with PPNL and hopes to continue to help those in need within the area. Our biggest problem is it cuts into our operating budget and since we are a nonprofit, it actually affects our ability to provide financial aid to to our to our members, to uh, families in child care, to um, provide swim lessons. While the YMCA works to make ends meet, they they still put the community first. We didn't necessarily uh, reduce our ability to give. We're just having to um, reach out to more donors and, and, and be able to get more contributions in so that we can make up for that difference. Now, as previously mentioned, PPNL does hope to have billing back to normal by the end of the month. If you are interested in donating to the Greater Wyoming Valley Area YMCA, head to our website at pahomepage.com. Nick and Candace, back to you.